What's up guys, Brandon Johnson here again and thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a look at the old time traditional tune, Old Grimes. I had never heard of this tune before until recently when I saw an awesome version of Chris Eldridge playing it on YouTube and I thought, you know, that that's a really kind of interesting melody there because I noticed there was something about it that gave it kind of a Celtic or kind of an Irish feel. I wanted to kind of explore that in this lesson and kind of look at you know, this, this really nice kind of straightforward melody. It's just an A-A-B-B form. And it's got an interesting chord progression. We're playing out of the open D chord position here with no capo. And we're going to take a look at some of the specific elements of this tune that really give it kind of that unique Celtic flavor. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Okay, let's check out measure number one now of the A part. Now this song is really cool because it has kind of an Irish traditional feel to it. And I'll point out some of the kind of specific elements that make it feel like kind of an, a traditional Irish tune or a traditional Irish melody. But when we take a look at measure number one, we have a two note pickup. And this pickup is gonna be an open A, followed by a second fret A. And then we're gonna land on a down stroke on the open D string, the beginning of measure number one. So those two notes are the pickup, open A to second fret A. And the melody actually starts on that open D at the beginning of measure number one. Now I'm playing this with my index finger here. And that's so I can go up to that fourth fret D right there. Okay, so we're playing open D, second fret A, open D and then 2nd fret D to 4th fret D. We're kind of playing over this, you know, open D or open A scale position here. And you can see how we're just kind of working up the D major scale here. that open D, we're going to go back to the 2nd fret D, and then to the 4th fret D again, before we go up to that G string on the 2nd fret G. that melody it's sort of you know it's sort of walking up the major scale but we're kind of backtracking a little bit right so we go up to the second fret D to the fourth fret D and then back down to the second fret D and then back up and then there on that second fret G we have a double note there or just kind of a, an up down followed by a 4th fret G to 2nd fret G. And that 2nd fret G is going to be on an 8th note, so there's a slight pause there. And then we're going to play 3rd fret B to 2nd fret B. So we're actually kind of walking down into a B minor, which is at the beginning of measure number 2. Okay, 
and that second fret B is going to lead us into measure number two. <laughs> measure number two now, we have a B minor chord here. And we're going to start flat picking over this B minor chord on the open B string to second fret G to open B again. Okay, and then you'll see that second fret B to third fret B to open. And again, with our index finger, we're going to hit the 2nd fret G to open. And then right on that G chord, we're going to play 2nd fret D to open. Okay, so we're moving down the register again. Again, we're playing this out of kind of the first position with our index finger and our middle finger. All right, so we're playing this out of the open position, mostly with our index finger and our ring finger, although the middle finger does get some work here when we kind of play that third fret to second fret B. After that 4th fret D, we're going to go back down to 2nd fret D. Okay, and then after that 4th fret D there that you see, kind of at the end of measure number 2, we're going to land on an open D, and then we're just going to hit that 2nd fret A to open A. And that A, that A note, kind of leads nicely into measure number three, which is a D note. Okay, let's play measures one and two now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Listen to measure number three. Okay, so when we look at measure number three now, you'll notice that measure number three and measure number one are actually identical. And really the only difference here is that we just don't have the two note pickup. So just to review, measure number three and measure number one, we're gonna start on that open D to second fret A to open D again with our index finger. And then we have that same third fret B to second fret B at the end of measure number three. Okay, and that's gonna lead us into measure number four Measure number four now, we have a B minor for two quarter notes here. And then we have an A to a D. And that's, that's gonna act as kind of a turnaround. So we're gonna start the melody here on this open B to second fret G to open B. And then kind of that familiar second fret B to third fret B to open. I've already played that a couple times earlier in the melody. Okay, and then right from that open B, we're going to place our index finger on the second fret G to open. And I think you can kind of hear the, the descending kind of conclusion line that we're kind of developing here. All 
right? So that's that classic kind of turnaround lick that you've heard in, in many, many different tunes. And really try to keep your, you know, your picking even, the tone of your picking, try to keep it nice and even and fluid. And you can hear how that gives it a nice kind of conclusion. And then you'll see the repeat sign there at the end of measure number four. And that's actually going to indicate that measures one through four are to be played twice. All right, so let's take a look at measures three and four now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's take a look at the A part now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that's going to lead us into part B. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. 